You are invited to a murder. A stranger lies dead in Arlington Grange. There are six suspects, but which one is the killer? Could it be Mrs. Peter, Lady of the Manor and beautiful society hostess? Perhaps Colonel Mustard, military hero and intimate family friend? Is the Reverend Green a saint or a sinner? Is it Professor Plum, a man with a degree of suspicion? Miss Scarlet, Mrs. Peacock's glamorous stepdaughter? Or Mrs. White, loyal housekeeper and devoted confidant? Your host for Cluedo is Richard Maitley. Good evening. Do you believe in second sight, the power to know what the future holds for us all? Well, psychic Marjorie Hunt most certainly did. But that didn't protect her from the terrible fate that awaited her here at Arlington Grange. She was murdered, of course, in one of six rooms. Was it the library or the drawing room? Maybe it was the kitchen or then again the billiard room. Was it the dining room or did it all happen here in the study? Well, we have our six potential murder weapons. One of them is the genuine article. Let's see if we can discover which one it was in the next 30 minutes. Could have been the rat poison, or then again this uh, rather delicate looking brooch with the wicked pin behind it. Was it this desktop lighter? Or then again, weighted as they all are at one end, a billiard cue. Was the letter opener the thing that did the deed? Or most ignominiously of all, a toilet chain? What a way to go. Marjorie Hunt spent most of her life looking into the future. So why don't we spend the next half hour looking into her past? introduce my old friend Marjorie Hunt, Miss Scarlet. Hello, it's awfully kind of you to let me stay. Yes, quite. I'm sure it must be. <gasps> you poor girl. You've had an accident. Oh dear, oh dear, such an accident. Just a bump, that's all. Which reminds me, I must make a call. Needs a new headlight. And the fender needs straightening. When? Okay, I'll bring it down. Yes, Cash. Don't worry, you'll get it. Fine. Oh, Mrs. Hunt, you're here. Blanche has told me all about you and your remarkable gift. Now, there's something I simply must show you. Blanche. Can you help me fasten the safety catch on this bridge? Good. Ah, so old, so very old. And they've seen such things, things the likes of us can only dream of. Goodness, how ghastly. What does it mean? You simply must give us a glimpse of the future. The present is too dreary for words. Count of it. The whole lot of it. Who the hell does he think he is? I want him found, Sergeant Major, and taught a lesson. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. There Lunch, they are. Lunch, what? Oh, oh, look. Look. Morning, Mrs. White. Oh, morning, Vicar. Uh, this is my best friend, Marjorie. Charmed. And how is your wife, Reverend? Oh, the vicar isn't married, Marge. But I saw you. Ah, second sight of yours. Uh, no, 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 not that. I saw you in the village this morning. But not my wife, a, a parishioner. 
Uh, Alice, Mrs. MacDonald. But you were uh, Alice's husband, Geoffrey. His proper poorly, isn't it, Vicar? I fear he may be taken from us very soon. Naturally, I call as often as I can. Naturally. <laughs> Insurance valuation. Four and a half million. Now, Mike. Genius. There's no other word for it. Makes mustard gas look like smelling salts. Um, oh boy, when this stuff gets in the wrong hands, you'll be worth millions. What do you see? I see... I see a child. A little boy. He's crying, crying, abandoned and alone. And he's calling, calling for you. Good Lord. I don't know what she's talking about. It's nonsense. Flames everywhere. Darkness visible. The fires of hell. And they cast their light on you. She's one card short of a full deck. Anger, such anger, all consuming. And there's blood, blood on your hands. A shadow follows you. Plague and pestilence are your bedfellows. And there's no escape. Not for the birds of the air, or the fish of the sea. <laughs> oh, don't come near me! Dear good woman, I do assure you. It was in the cards. Hmm? I saw the death's head grinning, staring with its enormous eyes. Oh, please, please take me to the station. Wait here, I'll get my things. Has he got the money or not? In that case, take him outside and practice your bayonet drill. Make him suffer, do you hear? Make him... Seems she's that upset, she's clear enough. We can't let her leave without having tea. We'll take it early. You're quite right. She shouldn't go anywhere on an empty stomach. Wretched old bat! I wish I'd never agreed to take part now. Well, if there is to be blood on my hands, I know who this little damn will be if I ever run into her again. Oh, Vicar! Your housekeeper just called. Oh, yes. Apparently, Alice MacDonald wants to see you urgently. Oh, uh, re really? <laughs> Yes, I, I, I hope that doesn't mean that, um, yes, I really, uh, I think I ought to go. 